Welcome. I am Terry Tropin, and today I'm discussing the guidelines for selecting the approach character 5 to build a PCS code from the medical and surgical session section. See the videos posted on YouTube for an introduction to PCS and digits 1 and 2, another discussing digit 3, root operations, and one discussing digit 4, body parts. I'll have future videos that will talk about digits 6 and 7 that are part of a PCS code. First, let me tell you a little about myself. I have a master's in healthcare administration and from informatics from the University of Maryland Global Campus and have an RHIA and CCSP certifications. I am an AHIMA approved ICD-10 trainer. I've taught health information technology at Montgomery College in Maryland for over 20 years. I've also written books on coding. These books are study guides that summarize the coding guidelines. My books include one on ENM coding, ICD 10 CM, ICD 10 PCS, and external causes. These are available on Amazon. So let's get started with character five. Character five is the approach or techni technique used to reach the surgical site. There are seven different approach values. So it's right here. So you have one from each one of these categories. And we're going to talk about character five. There's, let's look at the approaches in groups. We have some approaches that are through a natural artificial opening, other approaches that are through the skin or mucous membrane, and others that are external. So I'll talk about each of these categories or types in turn. First, let's look at approaches through a natural or artificial opening. Natural openings include orifices in the body, could be the ears, the mouth, the nose, and the anus, and in a female vagina, in a, um, or also any, the urethra. So these are the approaches, the three approaches that use natural artificial openings the natural artificial opening with endoscopic assistance, the natural artificial opening endoscopic, and the natural artificial opening. So let's start with the natural artificial opening. That's character seven. This includes those natural openings we talked about before, but also artificial openings. These are not natural openings that we're born with, but created surgically. For example, gastrostomy, tracheostomy, colostomy. There's no, in this code, um, in this value, value seven, there's no direct visualization of the area that um, the surgery is involved with. So for example, we have a cerv cervical biopsy, which is transvaginal, a natural opening, and endotracheal intubation, which is through the mouth, also a natural opening. Approach values eight is also used for an approach via natural artificial opening, but in this case, an endoscope is used. Therefore, you have endoscopic visualization through the camera on the scope. An example of this are hysteroscopy, where the scope is inserted through the vagina into the uterus, gastroscopy, the scope is inserted through the mouth into the stomach, and colonoscopy, where the scope is inserted into the anus, into the colon. Approach value F includes via natural artificial opening and an endoscope, like the previous approach. The difference is there's also a percutaneous component to this approach. So there are two parts to this a non-surgical part through a non through a natural opening in the picture. This is a uh, tubal ligation, so you have through the vagina into the uterus, and then you also have a surgical component, which is endoscopic puncture or minor incision to in, in, um, insert the endoscope through the skin. So this has two this one approach with two pos two uh, different types of access. 
Here's another example of approach F, laparoscopic assisted vaginal hysterectomy. So surgically, they go through the laparoscope and they cut the ligaments and other um, connections for the uterus. And then the uterus is removed through a natural opening, the vagina. <coughs> Excuse me. This approach is only used in these body systems, female reproductive system with root operation resection and gastrointestinal system with root operations, excision and resection. So these are the only places you're going to see, going to use this approach. So let's compare the uh, natural artificial opening. So you'll see only this one includes an incision with endoscopic assistance. None of the others include a, an incision. Is an endoscope used only for these two, not for this one? So while they sound kind of the same, there are significant differences in them. The next group of approaches involves insertion of instruments through the skin or mucous membranes, which line the cavities of the body that have openings to the outside. These approaches are via natural artificial opening with endoscopic assistance, open, percutaneous, and percutaneous endoscopic. So open is value zero. In this approach, a large incision is made to access the surgical site and then goes through any body, body layers necessary to get to where the surgery is being performed. The site of the surgery is fully exposed. For example, it this be a laparotomy or a cholecystectomy. Now the open approach may include endoscopic assistance. That means that um, this is percutaneous endoscopic assistance. So the major part is still the open part because there's a, major, a large incision. But for example, in a laparoscopic assisted uh, sigmoidectomy, laparoscopically, they put in um, instruments to free the surrounding tissue from the colon, such as the colon from the um, mesentery, for example. And then there's an open approach, a large incision to actually remove the colon. So sometimes it has these two steps, sometimes it doesn't. And you'll see here the notation for the guideline where this is discussed. Percutaneous. This is accessed by minor to the surgical site by minor incision or maybe even just a puncture. The instruments are inserted through the skin or mucous membrane, and any other body layers necessary to achieve the site. In this case, there's no direct visualization. So here's an example. So you have this to do a, to do a biopsy. This is the tissue being biopsied. The physician isn't viewing it directly, though there may be some guidance involved. Peritoneal drainage is another way, another example of this approach. Percutaneous endoscopic also includes a minor incision or puncture, but an endoscope is used. Therefore, the physician can see the site where the surgery is going to occur via the endoscopic camera. So examples, and here's the, here it is here. Uh, example is a laparoscopy or an arthroscopy. Now, the guidelines, these guidelines here, also say that sometimes an excision, an incision or an extension of an incision is made during a percutaneous endoscopic approach. Why? To help in the removal of tissue or to help in creation of the anastomosis. They just need a little more room in there. In the picture, you see three small incisions. This is for the endoscope. And then you see a larger, not real large, not a major incision, but another incision to help in removal of the body tissue. So sometimes 
Yes, sometimes no. So let's compare these approaches that we've just talked about. For approach through skin or mucous membranes, you have open, which is major, and the other two are minor. Don't use an endoscope, but you can still see it because it's an open because there's a major incision. Can't see it visible only with an endoscope is this one and this one you can't see it at all. So the final approach is external and this kind of stands on its own because there's no incision to reach the surgical site and there's no instruments inserted through um, a natural opening. The surgical site is on top of the skin or membrane or it can be reached indirectly using force. So here's a good example. If the patient opens their mouth, you can see these structures here, the tonsils, the tongue. And if that's where the surgery is being done, then you use an external approach. So here's an overview of the um, external approach. No incision, surgical site, is visible as used for a tonsillectomy or closed reduction of a fracture. For closed reduction of a fracture, think of traction, where there's no incision or insertion through an opening, uh, but the fracture is treated from the outside. Now, many people confuse external approach and open approach, and actually, they are the opposite. In an external approach, no incision is made at all. In an open approach, a major incision is made to view the tissue. So external and open are opposites. Let's do some comparisons of different approaches. Here's a comparison of approaches that include an endoscopic approach. So percutaneous endoscopic, minor incision. Natural artificial opening, no incision. And this one, F, is, is the two-step. So this is through the percutaneous endoscopic is through the skin, minor incision, the natural artificial opening, no incision through an orifice. And then this one is through an or orifice and a minor incision. So it's both. Percutaneous approaches. Open is a major incision. Percutaneous is minor, percutaneous endoscopic is minor, and this one has, also has minor, the F, the uh, two steps. The difference between three and four is that four uses an endoscope. The difference between, um, with F, is there's two steps, it's an orifice and a puncture. So let's look compare natural or artificial openings. All of these include natural or artificial openings, except this is no incision. This is no incision by the endoscope. And again, we get back to the two steps, an orifice and a puncture. So it includes both. Now let's look at the two steps. Some of them always include a two step and some of them only sometimes include a two step. So F, as we've said, includes natural artificial opening and small puncture or incision for the endoscope. These may have two steps. An open approach may use a percutaneous endoscopic assistant. It's still reported as a zero, an open. Large incision and then puncture or small incision to insert endoscope. It's still reported as an open. Percutaneous endoscopic is a also two steps sometimes. Puncture a small incision to insert the endoscope. But remember the guidelines said that if this incision is extended or another small incision is made to remove tissue or perform anastomosis, it still is reported as a percutaneous endoscopic. 
Okay, so let's talk about some general guidelines for the approach values. If different root operations are used during a surgery, use different codes for each approach. Okay. The general rule is that in order to that if in order to tell all of what's gone on, more more um, digits are needed, then code each separately. Okay. This applies to all the characters used in PCS codes. For example, a laparoscopic col cholecystectomy converted to an open cholecystectomy. So you're going to list two codes, resection with an approach for um, open, zero, and inspection, percutaneous endoscopic, with an um, approach for approach three for percutaneous. So this tells the whole story. You'll note that the resection is coded first because that's the bigger, larger, more risky procedure involved in this case. More guidelines. Sometimes a device is inserted through the skin in order to perform a procedure. The guidelines state that in this case, use a code for percutaneous approach. You see the instrument here for fragmentation of kidney stone in the right renal pelvis through the skin into the renal pelvis, you're going to use percutaneous. An appendix in your PCS book <clears throat> includes components of the approaches used for medical and surgical procedures. You notice I'm not saying appendix A, appendix B, because this varies in different publications. So the, it's the appendix talking about components of the medical and surgical approach definitions. This is a very valuable resource for you. It includes approach, a definition of the approach, what access location is used, the method used, the type of instrumentation, and what I think is most important, examples. Very important examples make such a difference. This is a great place to make notes as you go along, go back to the appendix and make notes to clarify something that you were confused about. The next section is some practice in selecting the correct approach value. If you would like, let me read the question and then shut off the video and think about it yourself and turn it back on to check yourself. Question one. Resection of tonsils be, approaches via natural or artificial opening, percutaneous, open, or external. The answer is external. The tissue can be viewed without any in, incision. Therefore, it is an external approach. Putting some instruments just into the mouth is not considered a natural or artificial opening. Bronchoscopy. Is this percutaneous approach via natural or artificial opening, via natural or artificial opening endoscopic, or percutaneous endoscopic? This is via natural or artificial opening endoscopic. You know it's endoscopic because it says scopy. So when you see these procedures, visualize them. A bronchoscopy means the endoscope is inserted through a natural opening through the throat to the bronchus. Therefore, it's eight. Arthroscopic knee chondroplasty is the approach percutaneous, open, percutaneous, endoscopic, or external? The answer is percutaneous endoscopic. You know it's an endoscope because of this, and you also know that there's no natural opening into the knee, so it has to be percutaneous. Abdominal hysterectomy is the approach open, external, via natural or artificial opening, or percutaneous endoscopic. Well, this is open. 
An abdominal hysterectomy includes, by definition, includes a large incision, and then the uterus is removed through that incision. The physician directly visualizes the uterus as the procedure is performed. Therefore, it is open. Endotracheal intubation. Is this an external approach, via natural or artificial opening endoscopic, via natural or artificial opening, or open? This is natural or artificial opening. The instrument's inserted through a natural opening in the throat to reach the trachea. There's no indication of an endoscope being used, so it can't be eight, it must be seven. Laparoscopic assisted open sigmoidectomy. A laparoscope was inserted to free the tissue from the mesentery, then the colon was removed through a large incision. Is this via natural or artificial opening? Open, via natural or artificial opening with percutaneous endoscopic assistance, or via natural or artificial opening endoscopic. This is open. Remember the guidelines that stated that this is coded as an open. It includes two steps, incision, incision for the laparoscope and removal of the sigmoid colon. So it's two steps, but it's still, according to the guidelines, coded as open. Biopsy of the colon. Endoscope was inserted through a previously created colostomy. Is this an external approach via natural or artificial opening endoscopic or via natural or artificial opening or open? This is via natural or artificial opening endoscopic through a previously created colostomy and it's an endoscope. Laparoscopic assisted vaginal hysterectomy and LAVH. The uterine ligaments were cut using the laparoscope and the uterus was removed through the vagina. Which approach is it? Via natural artificial opening with percutaneous endoscopic assistance, open percutaneous, or via natural or artificial opening endoscopic. This is a via natural artificial opening with percutaneous endoscopic assistance. The endoscopy, the laparoscope was used to release the ligaments and then the uterus was uh, removed through a natural opening, the vagina. There is no way we can remember all the guidelines in the PCS book. Here are some suggestions to write in your book to jog your memory. Percutaneous endoscopic, small incision, may include in extension of incision, or another small um, incision used only for female and gastrointestinal body parts. Open is lar a large incision, external is no incision. As I said, a lot of times people confuse these, but they're really kind of the opposite. So as you use the PCS book, make notes of the procedures coded to each approach in your appendix. Make this your go-to place to get information. That completes this video. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. I'd love to hear from you. I'll be posting videos on characters six and seven in the next few weeks. Again, here are the books I have written on Cody. These are available on Amazon. You can get them through this link or just go on Amazon Books and type in Tropin. And here is how to contact me. Thank you so much for listening. I hope to have more lessons up soon. Thank you.